Daisy's got a coat like that. Really? Yeah. Does it suit her better than me? Yeah. <laughs> you just bash your head on my car. Oh no, yeah, it really hurt. Yeah, it fit, mate. Fit, look. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Do you mean Tetris? Yeah. Good morning and welcome to today's video. I forgot what your driving's like. You just nearly killed your own iPad. <laughs> I'm here in a car with Lawrence and uh, and we are moving a shit ton of stuff from both of our houses to the new studio. It's raining, so it's a good day to do it. I didn't realise you were going to use the studio as a storage space for all of your yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's the main reason for having it. I'm gonna turn my house back into a house. What about your shed? Back into a shed? Yeah. Why are you wearing sunglasses? It's not sunny. I always wear sunglasses when I'm driving. It's gonna be a slow process getting the studio all set up, so we're just gonna chip away at it slowly. First port of call is, uh, well, we need desks, which we ain't got, so we're just gonna put everything on the floor and sort of lay it out. One other thing we need, Rugs. The rugs. sound is going to be so echoey because it's just an empty white room, so we need to find some rugs from somewhere as well. What should we have? We should we could have our Project America videos playing in the background all day. What on a big screen? Yeah, I mean James. We haven't got a big screen. I've got an old TV I can bring. I was going to use it as my Zwift setup, but maybe this is more important. We need like an old cathode ray. Do you, are you even old enough to remember that? A what? Cathode ray TV. That's what no, it's called. All of my TVs are thin. <laughs> Sarah, basically, we're going to Vietnam in one month. You're going to Vietnam in a BMW? No. I didn't see you eat a banana. Why have you got banana skin now? I ate it this morning. It was my breakfast. You're like Alan from The Hangover. You two darkening my doorstep. Dude, it's it's cloudy outside. I Why can't avoid outside? giving him the shit. You learned how to use it yet? Yeah. No. That is a big pile of... How was that in my house? How was that in my car? In this jacket, you look like the little monkey that was found in Ikea. What monkey that was found in Ikea? I'll put a picture of him here. The world's smallest crank, 155 mil. What bike is that going on? A tiny person's. Oh, obviously the camera ain't gonna pick this up, but that's it's, um, weird. It's Francis's new crank. Yeah, yeah. thanks mate. Uh, it's going on a triathlon bike to be fair. And I think the rider is like five foot one, five foot two. And she has full size wheels. <clears throat> full size wheels, yeah. But yeah, quite often fine. Short crank, cranks need to be this short for a small rider. Guy I had in this morning, I had on 180s. But he's got 85 centimetre saddle height. It's only five mil longer than what you probably ride. Right? Cranks for little people aren't short enough and cranks for big people mm. aren't long enough. Mm. You think like the commercially available crank length, the, the, uh, the biggest di the difference is like 10 mil between mm. obviously 165 and 175 versus the lowest saddle height is, well, Giles Harrison, which doesn't really count, he's like, 45 centimeters or 50 centimeters versus like the highest I think is almost like it's like 90 centimeters 40 centimeter difference in saddle height yet only supposedly 10 mil difference in crank anyway take care man Are you coming to ruler yes I'll see you at ruler hey man can you pass the salt yeah. can you pass the salt Vietnam planning. So the biggest day, well, there's a day 83 miles and 10,000 feet of climbing. So that's about, what, 3,000 meters. Uh, yeah, so leg eight is 100 miles, 10,000 feet. And that's it. That's the biggest day. You've got, like, you've got two big days where it's like over 80 miles and 10,000 feet. But I mean, I'm not being funny. We've done, <laughs> done double that. So we'll be all right. Mo but most of it, it's, so there's one here, it's 105 miles, 2,800 feet. It's like 1,000 meters. It's not a lot. I mean, for you guys at least. This is alcohol free. Who are you and what have you done with James? Yeah, I know. Alright, studio done. That was easy. <laughs> easy. That was easy. You know what Lawrence is devastated about? What? Someone commented, and rightly so. That cactuses need sunlight. This is sunlight. I, I, they I, are the brightest. I, I love you guys seen. so much that I actually stole a sun from other galaxies, and I put one in here. Just a small one. Small. I put four suns in here. Even a small cactus needs four hours of direct sunlight minimum a day. And he's gonna have to come in every day and sit, sit, sit with in the it upstairs. Yeah, yeah. You have to sit with him. Make sure the cactus is around. I haven't got to sit with him. I've got shit to do. Mark my, my words. Lawrence will not sit in the window with a bloody cactus. He can't sit still for two minutes, let alone four hours. Oh, I'm completely underdressed. It's the freezing cold outside. My hands are going to hurt. I go home. Raining again as well. Just dawned on us. We've got three weeks till Vietnam. 
Yeah, it is like three weeks. You're right, I should probably do my visa, shouldn't I? That's what reminded me, there's a sticker that says visa on it. Should we take American dollars? Because they like American dollars out there, don't they? What's the currency? Um, oh, this is gonna be a means. car crash. I'm fucking organizing, of course it's not gonna be a car. I haven't done any organizing, have I? Last time you organized something, we nearly died in a desert. At least we knew we were going to the desert. This time, I actually don't know really much about where we're going at all. But I, 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 it's, I've kind of kept it a bit, what's the word? Cryptic, it's almost like a secret. I don't really know what the hell we're getting into. I don't know what the roads are gonna be like. I know that there are going to at least be roads. I started off by um, doing a bit of uh, research and found that the, so my initial routes were taking us over bridges that hadn't been built yet. I'm also gonna have to come up with a, an equally ridiculous haircut to you. Mohawk? What's no, Lawrence gonna do? Not gonna happen. Lawrence doesn't need to have a silly haircut to look silly. He just is just floof. You gotta buy him a present. I think Lawrence will get a present every few days. I might not be able to lift it off of his bike. You're gonna buy him a pirate ship. Him Where a pirate are you gonna ship? buy him a pirate ship from? Pirate ship model shop, Vietnam. Is that, is that even a thing? How do I get out? That feeling when you haven't ridden fixed for a year and you keep forgetting you're riding fixed and go every time you think you can freewheel. Gear feels massive as well. So I took this bike out of the box and put it together and then didn't really look closely at it. I thought it looked pretty clean considering the 4000 Ks on it. Then I got close and just realised how dirty it is. We'll do a full review of all the kit I use for Australia in the next few days before I nick some parts off this bike for the Vietnam build. Hey, where are we going? Cinema, finally. I'm excited. Joker. The Joker. Is that the Joker? Yeah. Just another joke. Yeah. <laughs> Why were the baker's hands brown? I don't know. Why were the baker's hands brown? Because <laughs> he needed a poop. Hey, Joker. So we just got back from seeing the Joker. If you haven't already seen it, go and see it. It really did live up to the hype. Mike and Phoenix. Deserves an Oscar. What did you think? Uh, very, very good. It was very creepy. <laughs> Not as creepy as uh, that. <laughs> Why is this in our house? It does look a bit like you. Yeah. We're going to cut our fringe and then we'll be twins.